The two men are said to have entered the gambling movie shop where a scaffold ensued leading to the unfortunate incident. According to an eyewitness who operates a nearby shop, the two men hurriedly closed the door of the gambling shop before she heard commotions prompting her to raise the alarm. Her screams will attract residents who quickly broke the door of the gambling shop only to find the two suspects had already beheaded the youthful man. But a quick intervention by the police not only saved the two suspects from the mob justice but also infuriated the residents who were baying for their blood. The rescue mission turned chaotic as residents engaged the law and forces in a running battle. The police were forced to shoot in the air to disperse the irate members of the public. The residents have accused the police of abating crime in the area by allowing the banned gambling joints to continue operating. Na ikitengele mekuwa na insecurity kwa juu sana. Juu kama hiyo incidence imetokea saa hii, imetugathabisha sana kwa sababu. Uyo kijana mewawa ni kijana kwa less than 21 years. Uyo kijana akiwawa, mimi nimekuwa imtani na nikaona au vijana wawili venye wamekimbia, mmoja wamekimbia, akategu na jama mungine. Venye hameinuka tu hivi, akajipeleka ye police station mbio. Na police wakamchukua, wakamweka wapi. The residents claim that the gambling business has contributed to the increase of crime in the area. The cause of the bizarre murder could not be immediately established with the senior sub-county police boss Kinyua Mugambi saying investigations into the matter have commenced. The two suspects are being detained at Kitingela police station. For Channel 1 News, I'm Serafina Roby.